try to shop at the beginning of the month, in the middle of the month, and close to the end of the month. Most of the time, I'll try to, you know, get extra so that I won't have to come back. We were always growing up on eating junk. Friends, family, anything. Nobody really taught us how to eat healthy. Both of my parents worked, so they were always gone before we go to school and always still gone when we come home from school, so we kind of have to fend for ourselves, and the only thing that was really in there was just the quick microwave food. So this is kind of something that I got to learn new on my own. Okay, we, we, let's see, we got some celery and a red bell pepper. The cost of food is very expensive for me because I'm like on a fixed income. When I went and signed up for the WIC program, they don't tell you like the other store that they have, like the CalFresh stores. They don't tell you anything about farmer's markets at all. There's another market where they double the coupons as far as getting your vegetables and getting your fruit. Say if you spend 10, they'll give you an extra 10 to cover that. That market, it took me a while to find out about because I didn't know anything about the program and also bananas and nectarines, and we can cut it up and make it into a salad. Is that something that you'd be interested in eating? The Network for a Healthy California, we have recipe cards and perform the cooking demonstrations and also post the signs about eating healthier and making healthier choices. They have a recipe here in the book, black eyed peas over, over white rice and then um, gravy. We have the recipe cookbook and we actually have those same soul food recipes, but it has healthier alternatives to it. There are a lot of liquor stores here in City Heights. Some markets have healthy food and some markets don't, no fruits, no vegetables, anything. So it's just basically all junk food there. Sometimes I, I have to go as far as, you know, getting like my milk and some cereal. But usually when I go get some stuff there, it's out of date. That's why I don't really like to shop there. But I mean, if I have to, I have to. It's raining. It's raining. 76% of African Americans in California are overweight or obese. So with the campaign, we're trying to encourage people to eat more fruits and vegetables and to get more physical activities. I think we're taking steps to see different changes. I think everybody is getting on board, like different local businesses, trying to make sure that their stores are carrying the fresh produce. Okay. I think that there's a challenge to eating healthy because we have a lot of restaurants, burger restaurants and things like that. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's challenging, but I think as, as long as maybe someone can talk to you one-on-one -on -one to let you know about the program, I think it'll be willing for a change.